Hello everyone, Mrs. Kirk here. Right now, I'm going to show you what kinds of art supplies you might want to choose for our drawings together. Here we go. Okay, so there are only two things that you're ever going to need in art class. Two. Mm -hmm. Number one, something to draw on. It could be a piece of paper, it could be a piece of cardboard. It could be an old envelope from the mail. Be sure you ask permission first. <laughs> I'll show you some examples in a minute. And thing number two is going to be something to draw with. That's your preference. A lot of people like to draw with pencils. I like to draw with a permanent marker most of the time because I like to challenge myself and take those mistakes and turn them into beautiful oops and be creative with them. So, okay, here we go. Thing number one, what we're going to draw on. There are options. You can draw on a whiteboard. That's completely fine. You can draw on a piece of copy paper or printer paper is what I call it. You'll notice the thickness is not very thick. When I hold it out to the side, I have trouble keeping it out straight. So this is really great for your dry media. That would be colored pencils, crayons, regular pencils, things like that work really well on thin paper. I often draw in a sketchbook and you can see that it's just loaded up with drawings here. And this is sort of a medium thickness paper. We will call it a multimedia paper. I love it because it kind of keeps all of my drawings in one place. It's thick enough to hold water from watercolor paints or tempera paints. And it's also thin enough to not feel wasteful if I decide to just color it in with something basic like crayons or colored pencils. Another option is something along these lines. I use this a lot. This is just watercolor paper. I know it looks all fancy on this board. It's a drawing board. It allows me to place the board in my lap so that I can draw and color anywhere. It makes it a little bit more portable. I like this as well. Okay. You can get creative with what you draw on. Like I'd mentioned earlier, tear off a piece from an old cardboard box. Find an old piece of mail that's not being used anymore and use the outside of the envelope. A lot of times those are the most interesting works of art yet. Thing number two, what do you draw with? Well, that's kind of the artist's preference and you are the artist. So. Now I have a bit of a collection, but I've been drawing for a really long time, really long time. So I don't expect you to have this kind of collection. I expect you to choose something that you're comfortable drawing with and just go with it. Let me show you some examples that I have. First, I have tons of drawing pencils. These drawing pencils raise, I'm sorry, range in hardness from something very, very hard, like a 4H, and it will have a little 4H designation on the pencil. You know where it says to be on the regular yellow pencils? Well, on drawing pencils, it has other designations. And if there's an H that goes with the number, the pencil's really hard and it draws very lightly. My favorite pencils to draw with are the softer pencils, and those are in the B range. So my absolute favorite would be a 6B drawing pencil. I love how soft the graphite is. There's no more lead in these things. It's graphite that's in there. And I love the softness of it. The softness, softness means that I get a very bold line. I get something that's thick and rich in color. I'm able to smudge it with my finger if I want to do some shading real quick. I can lay it on its side and hold it a bit differently and do shading in an alternative way as well. So I can almost use it to color with too. Pen these kinds of pencils really last a long time, surprisingly. I don't like to sharpen my pencils. A sharp point on a pencil will dig into your paper and you'll never be able to erase it. That kind of defeats the purpose of a pencil, right? So mechanical pencils, I don't recommend them. If that's all you have, it's fine. Don't worry about it. But they really dig into the paper and they will leave an indentation where you can't erase. I must tell you though, my all time favorite thing to draw with is yes, a Sharpie, a black permanent marker. 
Sometimes I'll draw with a dark blue or a dark violet, but black is really my all-time favorite. I love the intense outline that I get on my drawings, and I love being able to play around with the idea that I can't make changes by erasing. I love that challenge. If that's not for you, that's okay. Choose whatever you're comfortable with. Crayons are fine. Colored pencils are fine. Remember, colored pencils, just because it says pencil, doesn't mean you can erase them. Uh, markers are fine. Whatever you have is fine to draw with. Chalk, chalk is fine too. Anything like that. But just kind of be aware that you're thinking about matching up what you're drawing with and what you plan to color with with your paper. So if I'm gonna draw with a Sharpie, I should not draw on thin printer paper. It's gonna go right on through and it's gonna color up that table underneath. So be aware of that, guys. Think before you draw. Ask yourself, is this gonna work with what I'm drawing on? Is this gonna work with what my plan is later on? Eh, just think first, okay, guys? All right, so those two things, all you need, something to draw on, something to draw with, and you're going to be just fine.